Okay so pretty much I'm trying to design a power source for a futuristic but industrial revolution steampunkish society. The power source is a type of vile thing and it's what I'm trying to design here. I knew I wanted a lightning bolt in the middle as well as two harnessers on both sides, so I designed around that. Now functionally speaking, the lightning bolt exposed with glass is not very practical because it is dangerous and such, but it looked quite cool and delivered the look I was going for. I try to implement some big medium small design aspects to the three segments which is what those three lines are. I finally was able to decide that I wanted a gem at the top which was the main source of the lightning, I also decided on the rings at the bottom. Now I moved on to the line work. Also if you're wondering why I'm drawing random squiggles and then erasing them and randomly drawing blobby shapes it's because I just do them to help me not be as stiff. I kinda just do it whenever my lines feel static. Now I started to move on to the color part of things. And I decided for the metal I wanted a copper brass kinda color, and so I opened up some references and started to paint it. You may also notice I'm using color sliders instead of a color wheel or triangle, I think I do that because I don't usually pick my colors from the wheel much. I just take three colors and mix them together to create new colors kinda of like traditional painting, and then I adjust them with the sliders. You can probably see that the copper is really streaky and not blended too well which I end up changing later. I also end up changing the crystal at the top which I feel like was very boring. It was just two planes and I kinda feel it was like that because of the copper supports on them which I kinda shot myself in the foot by making, but I tried to make it mesh well later. I then added in the background and fleshed out the lightning bolt with an airbrush. I also added a liquid at the bottom, because it felt a little empty in that area, and I guess it could be the liquid that stabilizes the lightning I guess I'm not really sure. This was once again another design blunder. Also, I added some light from the lightning onto the copper which I kept subtle, because I didn't really know how to approach doing it too well. Lastly, I fiddled around with the glass, which I didn't really get to look how I wanted but 